the odds are a million to one against him. Yet Captain Midnight fights on, arrested on false charges, and then rescued by the villainous Ivan Shark gang, Captain Midnight faces certain doom in the master criminal's hideout. Wants to finish it. Hey, boss, he's out. What do we do now? Get away from us. I get it. Why, boss, that's murder. You'll never get away with it. Murder nothing. It was an accident. He fell on the table. All I did was to throw that switch. What happened? Go up and find out. Fast, Jeep. All right, stop him. All right, quiet him, Slick. Quiet him down. Edwards is at the Clayton Hospital. Dr. Jordan thinks there may be a skull fracture. As soon as he regains consciousness, we'll find out where he was being held prisoner. Well, what did you learn? Nothing of importance, sir. The operators report that the factory was absolutely deserted and most of the machinery was wrecked. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Well, there goes another one of our clues. All we can do now is wait for Edwards to speak. Yes, speaking. Oh, one moment, please. Joyce Edwards phoning you from the hospital. Oh. Now we'll have some news. Hello, Joyce. Yes, Captain. He's recovered consciousness, but he doesn't know me. His memory's gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Joyce. Terribly sorry. Yes, you'd better stay there with him for a while. That's right. Goodbye. Well, we're stymied for the time being. Edwards has lost his memory. Dr. Jordan thinks it may take an operation to make him speak. Oh, don't worry, Miss Edwards. Your father's physically sound, and I'm quite certain we can clear up his mental disorder within a few weeks. Let me know if there's any rise in his temperature, Miss Gray. Yes, Doctor. It's be in the office. I won't be back today unless you send for me. Yes, Doctor. Oh, by the way, Miss Edwards, I wouldn't allow anyone to question your father. It'll only tend to upset him. I understand, Doctor. Yes, I've got that. Dr. James Jordan. Yes. All right, have the men stand by for immediate action. Has Edwards talked? No, not yet. He's still unconscious in the Clayton Memorial Hospital. I want that, Doctor. You mean we're to grab him? No, no, nothing so crude as that. You'll go to number 17, the Guerrero House. Have Dr. Jordan summoned on an emergency call. 
And when he arrives, I'll show you what I have in mind. The setup is perfect. He ought to be here now, unless he suspected something. Uh, stop worrying. That must be him. Get out of sight, you two. Come in, Doctor. Thank you. Well, where's the patient? <clears throat> We've had a little trouble. You'll have to wait. What's the idea of locking the door? Just follow orders, Doc, and you won't get hurt. Sit down. Just what is the idea? Sit down. Now, take it easy. Take it easy. What am I supposed to do? Just sit still if you know what's good for you. yourselves open to a charge of kidnapping. You're keeping me here against my will. It's just what we're going to do. Watch it. What about his voice? I'm Dr. Jordan on the staff of the Clayton Memorial Hospital. That's marvelous. That would fool a doc himself. Good. Jory, tell Red to get the car ready. All right. You weren't coming back until tomorrow. Yes, I know. Your father's condition has worried me. And I've decided that the patient's best chance for a speedy recovery is to be removed to a private sanitarium in the country. The chart, Miss Gray, please. I suppose you know best, Doctor, but I think perhaps I'd better notify father's friend, Captain Albright. Oh, uh, I've already done that. The captain has suggested that I show you the sanitarium. And if it meets with your approval, we can remove your father at once. Can you go with me now? Of course. I'll do everything I can to help. Thank you. Pulse 91. I don't like it. There, there, Dad. We'll soon have you all fixed up. Are you ready, Miss Edwards? All right, Doctor. A private ambulance will call for the patient within an hour. Very well, Doctor. Stay away from me, I tell you. There, there. It's all right. It's all right. Come in. Hello, Miss Gray. How's the patient? No change, Captain Albright. He rambles a lot, but it doesn't make sense. I see. I expected to find Miss Edwards here. Well, I thought you knew. Miss Edwards went to look at the sanitarium with Dr. Jordan. Sanitarium? What do you mean? Well, Dr. Jordan is sending Mr. Edwards to a private sanitarium. He said he'd informed you of his plans. He sent in an ambulance. Well, that's strange. I don't like it. I'd like to talk to Dr. Jordan myself. Hello, this is Captain Albright. See if you can locate Dr. Jordan for me, please. Thanks. I don't like this job. The hospital's too public. That's a cinch. Some of the boys will be there to cover us. Yes. Are you sure? All right, thanks. Dr. Jordan was called out on an emergency case two hours ago. As far as his office knows, he had no intention of coming to the hospital. Jumping snakes. I'll bet it's another plot to grab Mr. Edwards. But Dr. Jordan was here. Do you think they bribed him? Sure they did. Let's call the cops. Wait a minute. I've got a better plan. If what I surmise is true, it's necessary that we do not let them know we suspect them. Here's what we'll do. Watch yourself, boys. Here they come. Uh, 
Have anything, Jake? Sure. We're here just in case. Yeah, I know. Come in. Is this Dr. Jordan's patient? Yes, he's been given an opiate to quiet him for the transfer. Good idea. Take it away. Careful now. Oh, we'll take care of him. Was it gone? Well, this time the captain will get right into their hideout. Be careful now. Remember, Mr. Edwards is a very sick man. We'll watch him and he'll get the best of care as soon as we get him to the captain's place in Nevada. All clear. Bring him along, Nicky. Scram, here they come. back to double check to see that they don't suspect anything. You drive, Nicky. I'll get him back to Mr. Edwards. Now be careful. Edwards is in that automobile. It's someone else they put in the ambulance. Captain Midnight, I bet you. Jump to a telephone, Slim, and report this to the chief. Tell him we're trailing them. All right, spot her after. The ambulance with your father should be here shortly. You pardon me, please. Certainly. What? Hold the phone. Slim's got a phone. Something's gone wrong. Hello? Yes, speaking. What? They've taken Captain Midnight. Are you sure? All right, I'll take care of it. The fools, the idiots. S1 calling number seven. S1 calling number seven. Come in, number seven. That's my call. Take it, Gardo. Number five, answering for number seven. Come in, S1. If it's any news to you, you have Captain Midnight inside the ambulance. You've allowed him to trick you. Yes, Chief, yes. Act at once. Don't let him escape. All right, S1. We'll take care of it. All right, what was it? That's Midnight we got back there. Midnight? And where's Edwards? Dogman and the other men are trailing him. We got our work cut out for us. Slow down, I tell you. Slow down. You had a gun, too. Yeah, but I didn't have a chance to use it. Well, use this. Hey, what did you do that for? Hey, you don't have to fight my battle. I was right, Icky. That car is following us. Okay. This will not be allowed to run anything those guys have got. They spotted us. Don't let them get away. I wonder if this has got any speed. Come on, Icky, 
you give me a hand? I can't make it. Hurry up! said no. Look out! There's that doctor again. There's something suspicious about him. Can he bear any relation to Shark's perfidious plottings? At any rate, Fury Shark is every bit as dangerous as her father. Cut to the same cloth. She'll stop at nothing. Don't miss Weird Waters, next week's dynamic chapter of Captain Midnight. Thank <laughs> you.